Hi everyone and welcome back. My name is Desiree and it's very nice to meet you. In today's video, we are going to do a little Christmas Eve service, get ready with me. As you can see, hair is not done, makeup's not done, wearing regular clothes. So we're going to do a little get ready with me. Uh, we're going to do, uh, first I'm going to get ready and do my face. I'll do that off camera, but I'm going to show you what I'm going to wear. And then we'll do some hair and some makeup. I think I want to straighten my hair today. And then we'll do a little Christmas makeup. Makeup. Hopefully this gets up like on Christmas Eve or near Christmas. Um, so Merry Christmas to everyone. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more videos. Okay, let me show you outfit that I plan on wearing. I want to wear this red blazer and this gold sequin dress. I think these shoes will go well. It's a little bit different in like... I guess the gold is a little different in the shoes than it is the dress, but I think it'll work out. So that is kind of the outfit of the day, um, and I will, I'm all dressed and ready. Okay. Okay, I am all dressed and ready. Here is the little top, what the top looks like. It's that dress and the blazer. So for, um, a little skin prep i'm going to i'm going to be using the low recipe plum plump hydraulic serum and then for my under eyes i'm going to use the low recipe avocado melt retinol eye cream so i'm going to put those on and then we'll do my hair and then we'll get right into makeup okay well my hair tool um i'm using the lineage um this is the like the duo it's the curling um like a, it's not really like a wand it's just like curling you know it's just the air through anyways it curls and it straightens so while that's warming up we're gonna go ahead and prep my hair we're gonna do the we're gonna use the not your mother's clean freak dry shampoo we're gonna use the lineage thermal uh hair protector and the lineage sorbet botanical soothing balm Sorry, I think the fan cut on. <laughs> so first I'm gonna just brush my hair and then we're gonna go in with a little dry shampoo and then I'll do the soothing balm and then we'll do the heat protectant last. I'm just using this, I don't even know what brand it is, but it's just like this little Laura Bristol hairbrush. That's what I tend to use and then like a comb. Um, I don't really like to use regular brushes if i do use a regular brush it has to have more bristles i feel like it um brushes my hair a lot better i have like really thick hair so that is what i like to use okay so pretty much brush all out and then i'm gonna just go in with some dry shampoo and then i'm gonna brush in these other products and then once i get done uh the tool should be ready and we'll do a little straightening Okay, this is all ready, so we're just going to do a little straightening. Um, I'm not going to do anything, like, it's not going to be perfect. It's just going to be a little straightening, just so it's not so, like, poofy and wavy, which is kind of like what my hair normally is. So, I'm just going to do a light straighten. I don't like to use too many hot tools on my hair. I like to try to keep things pretty natural. So I'm just going to kind of go through and do the bottom half and then do the top half and then we'll get into some Christmas makeup. So that's what we're going to do right now is I'm just finishing this and then I'll be right back. Okay, hair straightened down. I just did like a little side braid. Mine's a little poof, but <laughs> um, I just kind of did my hair a little bit. Now we are going to go in and do a little prime and prep. Course, I'm going to just be using uh, if you haven't been following my videos um, I'm doing where for like six months I'm not buying any makeup you can give me given to me but I'm not going to buy any and so I'm just using what I have so these are kind of just my uh, rediscovering a little bit my tried and true I've used all this stuff unless I mentioned that hey this is like because I do have some backups like over here in this vanity so it'll be like new but I did buy it but everything I'm using today except for like the lashes I have used before so we're kind of just going to jump in do a little prep we're going to go straight into the elf cordless putty primer that is my tried and true 
I always use it to fill in the part of the pores and then uh, for the let's see I think I'm I don't think I'm gonna do any other primer I think I'm just gonna do this primer because I'm gonna have a luminous uh, foundation today so I'm gonna go with this primer and then we will do brows so just kind of dabbing this on and I think I have my pores filled I kind of just smeared it and I kind of just like press it but I kind of just swipe it so it like really gets into the pores uh, I'm just gonna put a little up here a little down here okay now we're gonna do the brows I'm just gonna do like my regular brow here I'm gonna try to fix this I'm working on getting more lighting, so sorry if like half is dim and half is dark, but I'm working on that. So, I'm going to use for my brow pencil, I'm just going to use the Brow Gal Brow Pencil for the pomade, the Anastasia in Soft Brown. I'm going to use the Anastasia uh, Brow Gel in Granite, and then to clean up my brows, I'm going to use the Sephora Foundation and Concealer Stick in Warm. And then when I get done, we'll start with the complexion. I always do eyes last, but I don't know. I was kind of thinking about doing eyes first. I don't know. We'll see. But once I get with the brows, we will go from there. Okay, so I think I want to do complexion first. I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Luminous Foundation. So I think this may be like a little light for me. And I haven't really used it very much. I do have only skin, so... I feel like it's not like you know the best but i haven't really used it that much i really would need to use it more to really be able to test it out so i'm going to use this um as my foundation today and just try it out plus it's like luminous so you know it's perfect for like christmas and uh like new year's like any type of little party you know the luminous part so i'm all prepped and ready i'm just gonna blend this out i'm not gonna use too much at a time because like i said i think it's like a little bit light for my skin but the good thing is it is winter so it's not like I don't really get tanned I just kind of get naturally tanned by the sun so it's not like I am darker on my neck like I normally can be um, and like light on the face so I think anytime you have like a much lighter foundation you can mix it but also, instead of just like tossing it or giving it away, you can save it and wear it in the winter time. And I did get these press on bills from a Kiss. I think this is part of last year's collection, but I think you can still get it. I just haven't seen them in stores. It is these. They're like just like this nude color, um, and then polka dots, reindeer, and Christmas stripes. So I got that on those nails just a little press-ons um i actually got them on sale um when i went to ulta like a little birthday christmas like not christmas little birthday shopping after christmas uh because my birthday's in february and they actually had these for like i don't know three dollars it's always really nice whenever you can get nails on sale because they don't like they can last a few weeks but to pay you know twelve Fifteen dollars. Now sometimes you need them for like seven or six, but for the really good ones, um, to only wear them for a few weeks and have to pay like that much all the time, it's just nice sometimes when you can get it on sale. So. And then for my concealer today, I'm just gonna be using the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Away in my declutter. I said that I wanted to try to use this more, and which I am, because I don't really have that much, so I might as well just use it up, even though the applicator is. Terrible. I totally would not recommend um, like getting it because the applicator does get so messy. But if you um, sorry, got a little something in there. Um, but if you have like a, like a brush or something you can put it in that I mean on that might work better. Just kind of blending this out a little bit, and then we'll do like. Um, concealer and I want to do like this um I think I may mix into a couple pal palettes but I'm not really sure as far as eyes but we're gonna kind of just jump in and go okay I will say that that foundation does not give much coverage at all like you can still see my redness up here definitely peeking through and then like the pimples I expected but then just when you look closely it kind of just like the way it sets on the face is it the most desirable? So I'm gonna go in with actually a 
more of a heavy duty concealer in my opinion. Since I am wearing a lighter foundation, I'm going to use a lighter concealer, the one I normally would use for all over my face. I'm just going to kind of go in with this Item Beauty concealer and just kind of dab on those areas just over the foundation just to kind of give more coverage, give more color, and just kind of darken up that area. And I'll go ahead and put this concealer on my under eyes. I mean, it's innovative because you can like click it and crank, like crank it up, like twist it, which is nice. Um, you can control like the amount of product that comes out, but it's just really not, you know, reasonable as far as applicator wise. Like that just looks terrible. Okay, so we're gonna blend all of that in and. Uh, then we will go ahead and do the eyes. Oh my gosh, I'm making such a mess. <laughs> okay, let's see. Where's my sponge? There we are. Okay, I'm going to blend this in. Okay, that is a lot better. You know, not so much red peeking through. And it's still not perfect, but yeah, it's better. Okay, so now I'm going to jump in with this uh, Too Faced Cinnamon Swirl Palette. It's been a hot minute since I've used this. It does have a lot of good neutrals and golds. Very just light uh, colored palette. So I'm going to see what I can do with this. And if I need to deepen it up, I may have to switch to another palette just because it's not like super deep and pigmented. So um, before that, I'm going to go ahead and um, prime and set my under eyes. To set my under eyes, I'm going to use the Elf Halo Glow, Glow Powder and Shade Light. And then um, to prime my eyelids, I'm going to use the Too Faced uh, Shadow Insurance. And then we will jump in to the palette. Okay, under eyes are set. Lids are primed. Um, let's see. I think I'm going to go in with the shade Muffin Top and kind of just put that all over the lid. And I am trying to, you know, do this quicker, only because I am on a little bit of a time restraint. We're going to go um, to Sam's before we go to get a couple things. Um, and that's about uh, a 15 to 20 minute drive. And then we're going to go to the Christmas Eve service at a church uh, that my... Uh, sister's basketball coach that's his church he preaches there um our church doesn't have a christmas eve service so we're gonna go to uh his church and it sounds like it's gonna be really cool uh, they're gonna have a couple pastors giving a couple like um messages just a short little like scripture message so that seems nice it's been a while since we went to a christmas eve service um we go to church every Sunday, but just the Christmas Eve service part, it's been a good moment. We, uh, normally the churches we do go to don't have them, or if they do, we don't go to them just because we're normally trying to prep and get ready for Christmas. Um, to deepen that up a bit, I'm going to go into See Me Rollin'. I'm just going to kind of use that same brush. Oh, by the way, I'm using the Luxie 205 brush. I don't know, like, all my brushes don't have names, so if they do have names, I'll let you know. If they don't, then I'm not going to mention it. Just kind of trying to buff that on a little bit. Just deepen the outsides, just so it's not so much of a golden, like, look. I do want some some depth, some contrast. It's been a moment since I've used this palette, and it's actually pretty good. I mean, it's a little, like, patchy. Like, I'm really having to try to blend some areas, but it's not terrible. Um, this is, like, the only Too Faced palette I have. Their palettes are really pretty, but I've seen a lot of reviews on a lot of them, and they're not, like, the best quality. So I kind of just stuck with this one, in which I don't always wear makeup, like, maybe once or twice a week. Not very often. Um, I do want to wear more, but like I said... In the summertime with uh the work that i've been doing um we like are working a lot so i don't really have time to wear 
makeup except on Sundays, but I'm working on that, so I don't really need more eyeshadows. Like, they're so pretty that you want all of them. But in reality, I don't really need more. So, um, that's that. Uh, we're gonna go in with, let's see. I think I'm gonna go in with Cinnamon Swirl. It's like a pink-ish. I'm gonna use a little bit of a smaller brush. And kind of just go on the base of the lid, kind of just get that deepened up just a little bit. It looks like it's similar to the color that I just used, but it's a little bit more on the pink side, just to kind of balance it up. I think I'm going to darken out the edges just a little bit. So I'm going to take uh, batter up, which looks like this, like the deepest brown of the palette. And I'm kind of just going to press on the outer corners, kind of just go up a little bit. I'm just going to press and then I'll blend that out with a different brush. And then I'll go back to the shimmers. Okay, and I'm going to take batter up. No, not batter up. Cinnamon Swirl and CB Rollin and just mix it both a little bit and just kind of go underneath the eyes down here and then I'll use a little bit of a smaller brush and kind of just buff that out. Let me see. Okay, now we will get into some shadow. Okay, I'm trying to decide between the uh, eyeshadows. Frosty Buns is like a little bit more on the like the very light pink side. This is more of your sticky buns. This is more of like your like deep golden. And then uh, Sweet and Spicy is more of your golden golden. So I'm trying to think of which one I want to use. I think I may go into Sweet and Spicy. It doesn't really look like I've used it that much. Ooh, that is golden. Okay, so I'm just going to press that on the center. And then bring it out a little bit. And bring it on the inside. Okay, on, it looks up a little bit more bronze which is not what I wanted I wanted golden so I may go on top of this and try to like lighten it up with more of a golden look I mean it's still gorgeous but just not the color I was going for but it still looks pretty I mean it's still very nice so let's see I think I'm going to go on top of it with Gooey Goodness, which is a little bit lighter, just to try to lighten that up. Okay, yes. That's lightening it up a bit. Probably should have went in with this shade, but the two mixed is actually pretty. Okay. Do you have a good amount of fallout on the bottom? But that shouldn't be should be a problem. No, just leaves a little glitter, nothing too much. Okay, now I'm going to go in with this Charlotte Tilbury quad. This is the Hollywood quad, and I'm going to take a little bit of that, like a, let's see. I'm going to take a little bit of that and, and put it in the, in a corner, let's see. I'm going to go in with the shade Enhance Rehusser, Enhance I don't know. Anyways, we're going to go in with this shade. And we're going to kind of just bring that up a little bit. Lighten up that inner corner. It's just this really pretty light gold. Okay, so all the eyeshadow is done. It looks pretty good. All nice and golden. Um, like I said, it's a little bit darker of a gold than I wanted to use. But it's okay. So now I'm going to go into complexion. I'm going to 
use my let's see Park Ave Princess palette. I'm gonna use the bronzer Princess Cut and Angle. And then we'll go into blush and highlighter and I'm gonna do my lashes last. I'm not like the best at doing lashes, so <laughs> that's why I'm gonna do it last. Give me a moment. Um, to give a little bit of depth, I'm going to go into this cream palette, which is uh, the Ali Pop Stack the Odds and Sunkiss. I'm going to use the bronzer from this palette, and I'm going to uh, kind of I want it to be a little bit deeper, so I'm going to use that to add some more depth before I go in with powder. Now I'm going to go in with this blush palette by, um, let's see, actually, no, I'm not going to use that, I was going to use an Oprah palette, but I'm going to go in with this uh, ColourPop blush, put that on, and then I'm going to go on top of that with the Hourglass um, Ethereal Glow, uh, it's like a very light blush, I'm going to go in with that. Now for highlighter, I'm going to go in with the, um, let's see, the Fenty Beauty in How Many Carrots. I'm going to use that because it's a really pretty, just diamondy white uh, highlighter. I'm going to go in with that and then we will go and set the face. And for powder, I haven't used it since my declutter video. I said I was going to use it and see if I liked it. So here we are. I'm going to try the Anastasia Beverly Hills Translucent Setting Powder, and we'll see how much I like it if I just don't want to keep it. So this is just a very, like, it's not like a solid um, hi highlighter. I don't really know how to describe it. It's not like, I don't know, I guess I, the best way to say it is it's more glittery. It's not just like a pure sheen. So I think I'm going to just lightly go in with that and go on top of that just ever so lightly with this highlighter from Charlotte Tilbury. It is in the Film Store Bronze and Glow. It's very light, center, subtle highlighter. Um, just going to go out a little bit to blend those two just to emphasize, it really helps emphasize both of those, like by layering the Fenty Beauty highlighter. Okay, so now we're gonna use that powder and set the face. Now, like I said, it's been a moment since I've used this, so we'll see how much I like it. Hopefully it doesn't like ruin my makeup because I don't have time to redo this. I'm actually running a little behind. It actually is like beautiful. Hmm. Huh. Yeah, I actually really like this. Now, because it is white, you have to kind of make sure it's even on your brush. Or spread it out really quick because if not, if it just goes on one area, it like really looks white. Well, this is really nice. So you just have to be like light handed with this. Or if you can see this like powder going everywhere. <laughs> this looks really nice. Okay. So I think at the moment she's a keeper. I just need to use her more. Sometimes when I have like a favorite, I stick to that and <laughs> I really need to understand that I need to use all my makeup. If not, I just need to get rid of it. So I'm just going to curl my lashes real quick. And for mascara, I'm just going to use my... Rare Beauty Mascara, just do a light coat since I am going to put on 
brushes. It's a really nice mascara. It's really nice. I do like it. Okay, so I'm going to be using these Barbie uh, collab with ColourPop. Now, these have been out for a while, but I got mine from somebody. So, these are in the doll lashes. They are beautiful. This is what they look like. Um, and I'm going to trim them up, put them on, and then we'll go right into lips. Well, um, I tried putting those lashes on, and they were taking a hot minute. They are difficult. I don't really wear lashes, but on special occasions, I try to, but that didn't really work out. So, I'm just going to go back in with some more mascara. Um, I'm going to use, um, let's see, I'm going to go in with the Marc Jacobs mascara. I'm going to try like lengthen them out a little bit where I try putting those lashes on and then I'll go back over it with more of a volumizing mascara, probably more of the Her Beauty. Not ready? Okay, well I put more mascara on, that just, that just wasn't working. I gotta practice more on my, um, my, my both lashes. Okay, so for lips, I think I want to wear, I was thinking red. Hmm, don't want to do red. I think we'll go for red. I'm going to try, I haven't used it that much. I'm going to try this liquid lipstick. Um, it doesn't really have a brand, but it's in Daphne. So, I'm going to go in with that. I'm just going to line the lips a little bit with the Essence uh, Red Lip Liner. It is in the shade Casanova, and then this is what it looks like, like this is like the logo, like Lip Power. I don't know if that's like the brand, or if that is just a name, but I'm gonna go with that. Okay, I can feel it drying down already. That looks a lot brighter in camera than it is actually in person. As long as it stays in place, I don't really care. <laughs> um, I have been messing up with my liquid, like my red lipstick, see? Like up top. I never get it the way I want it. There we go. That looks a lot better. Okay. So now that that is done, I'm going to set the face real quick with this Toy Factory Super Set Setting Spray. I'm just going to... It is a little bit of a drencher. Like, it feels pretty, like, hefty. I'm just going to blend that out. And voila, I am ready to go. Just gonna pop on some earrings and maybe like a ring and a bracelet. And I'm ready to go. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you have a very Merry Christmas. If you like this video, remember to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you wanna see more and share with your friends so that they can see um, if they're in this type of look or in just into the channel that I have. 
Thank you. Merry Christmas.